New Zealand versus Cook Islands. How important for the World Cup campaign is this game? Massively important for both sides. So, with the NRL season uh, finishing in three weeks' time and seven weeks of the tournament, there's going to be uh, a big chance that a lot of the players wouldn't have had a fixture for four or five weeks. So, for us, uh, a bit of a coup we felt in terms of getting this game on uh, on board. Um, and you know, having the Doncaster is a, a great advantage as well. So we're really looking forward to it. Um, and so are our players. Yeah, it's not just a warm up. It, it, it will be competitive, though, wasn't it? The, the one we're going out there just to warm up. Oh no! I mean, we're bringing 24 players over, uh, and I think, and I know, uh, every one of those players will be treating this as a dress rehearsal for bigger things to come. So the Cook Islands is, uh, um, are going to be full of guys out of the NRL as well. Very proud team. Um, so uh, it'll be a fair dinkum kind of contest. Um, you know, just coming in to see the, the two hackers uh, against each other on the mission line. Yeah, I understand that they're, they're going to do it against each other, which is rare you get both doing it in the same game. Yeah, and you know, Tongans and Samoans here for the World Cup as well. The, you know, the crowds will get to see four real different but uh, as emotion, emotional hackers. So uh, we're looking forward to hopefully displaying a new one. Uh, the Cook Island one is uh, very uh, provocative. Uh, it, it lays down the challenge. Uh, so as I said, the, the, the game will be um, fire and brimstone, that's for sure. Yeah, and your league hasn't finished over there yet, so when will we begin the players together? Uh, well, we name our, our squad uh, two days after the grand final in the NRL, which is October the 6th. So October the 8th, uh, we'll name our squad. Uh, we'll come together on uh, the 12th and 13th in Sydney. We'll have a mini camp there before we make our way over to Doncaster. And are you, you know, You've got the World Cup coming up. How confident are you of winning that again? Because you're the champions at the moment. We are champions, but it was five years ago. And obviously, you know, I think uh, the Australians go into the tournament as deserved favourites. Uh, being on English soil, they probably go in as second favourites. Uh, we haven't beaten England up here in the UK since 2006, which is a long time between drinks. We haven't been in Australia since 2010. Uh, we do know what the squad's capable of. It's a young team. Uh, but. Uh, at the moment we've got uh, about 40 guys who we're looking at as a wider training group uh, who are all in good form, so we'll be bringing a decent squad and a side that we know that we can the training. So fans can expect to see some top names play here in this game? Definitely. Um, you know, obviously with our players, um, even though a few of them probably will have played in the grand final, I'm pretty sure they'll all put their hands up to be a part of it, part of putting the Kiwi jersey on. Uh, they love wearing the jumper. For us, it's going to be a unique experience. Um, I've had a look at the Doncaster ground, it's a magnificent stadium. We're looking forward to playing, playing on it. Uh, and, the, and guys don't turn down the opportunity to wear the, wear the black jumper. And I'm pretty sure it'll be the same for the Cook Island boys.